Imagine not being allowed to have more than 49 people in your home during a 24-hour period. If you exceed that limit more than three times within 40 days, you're in trouble with the law. Matthew Clark, an attorney with the American Center for Law and Justice, learned of that proposal on the day he started a home Bible study. One of the topics we discussed in kind of housekeeping is do we want to be open to other families than what we have because we could be running the risk of telling a family, oh, you can't come this week because we'll be over the limit. When you first hear of it, 49 sounds like a big number. But Matthew, you say it can really add up quickly, right? For example, if my wife could have a play date with our kids and some neighborhood kids over the house in the morning, we could have a small Bible study in the evening, and then a scout troop stops by to sell cookies, and boom, we've now been in violation. You know, we've exceeded one of our three. That's amazing. Now I hear Fairfax County staff came up with this proposal in response to just six complaints over a year's time. Fairfax County is the most populous county in Virginia, um, over a million people. So you can imagine there are millions of, you know, little family gatherings and, you know, birthday parties and Bible studies and things like that that go on in the course of the year. Um, and to have six complaints out of all of that necessitate restricting the uh, right of assembly of the entire county is a bit absurd. It sounds kind of unnecessary since they already have noise and parking ordinances on the books. Besides, the regulation would seem to violate several constitutional rights. It would not only be a violation of the constitutional right of assembly, but it would be a direct violation of Virginia statute that specifically protects religious free exercise. Matthew, let's talk about meeting in the home for Bible study, or even for church. Why is it so important? First and foremost, it is your home. It's your dwelling. It affects your right to your own privacy. It affects your right to be able to assemble and gather with those you choose. Your home is the one place that you completely control and can have anybody you want to in, into that setting. And for the county to say, no, you can't gather here in, in the privacy of your very own home um, is far worse than any restrictions on public property. And last of all, if it can happen in Fairfax County, Virginia, it can happen anywhere. Matthew, thanks for talking with us. Matthew Clark is an attorney with the American Center for Law and Justice and hosts a Bible study in his home. I'd like to mention that the Fairfax County Supervisors have scheduled several public hearings on the proposal. The issue is by no means settled. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.